Okay, so someone asked me how to install Mac OS on i7 8650U, which is the newest i7 laptop, UHD 620 graphic. So it's practically the same as the one that I had the tutorial before. So the ACPI, make sure that you get it from all the original one, read by everything, you can extract them all, but you only need to use the DSDT for now. Okay, so how we're gonna get the ACPI table out of this Dale? This one is latitude 5490. So the first thing we wanna do is to get a read write everything, and we're gonna run it. So now, what we wanna do is to go to ACPI table. So when you go to the ACPI table, you will see right here SSDT, 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 all the way. So we always start from the far left. We're going to click bin. So we create a folder called ACPI on the desktop or whatever. And we're going to do is any file. We're going to change this one so the first one we always put dash one dot aml so I already did that you see that so if you look in here they have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten SSDT so every time we go to the next one, click bin again, and then change to any file, and we go to the number two, three, four, five, go all the way. DSDT is the last one. We also do the same thing, and then we save it as DSDT, and save it. Already exist, so that's how you get extract all your SSDT and DSDT for your laptop or desktop or whatever. And you're gonna need the PLLF, which is embedded into whatever green, and also the plug in type one AML, which is from whatever green, also, or you can get it from Rehab Man put in a patch folder and the next one you want to do the kex the other all you need if you want to patch if it's the real tech or IDT you can use Apple ALC to patch the sound Kodak Commander from Rehab Man fake SMC again I use the 1758 Lilu the new one again 1.3.9 USB inject all 71 Voodoo uh, this one is 1.9.2 and whatever green is 1.3.4 so there is the other folder Clover version 5070 which create the drivers UEFI Find all of these uh, dash 64 plus HFS plus and NTFS. That's all. So, with these three things, that is, you're done with the correct config. So, how do you set the config to boot with the UHD 620? So, the UHD 620 is the um, ID is 5917. 16 as others. So if you look in here, the PCI root, the platform ID is 1E59. All right. Device ID got to be 1659. That's important. For Dell, I always use the stolen memory and stuff. And here is UHD graphic 20. Also, for some reason, when I put the IG platform ID, 591Bs always work with all, 620. 
inject no and you look at this acpi i only put the original the sdt fixes only fix these two i don't patch anything sdt drop oem no generate plug in type yes and plug in type one so this one will give you all the uh, power management sorted order i don't do anything all i do is to put the plnlf this one is embedded inside the whatever green also plug in type one okay boot simple don't put anything so devices right so we already went through that usb make sure that we turn everything yes except the u intel hdmi disable driver is always there gui doesn't matter kernel and kex patches dale patch i don't so i have to remove this force kex to load this one's been there but actually i don't see the uh, kb legs actually there but just leave it there i mean the kernel to patch i mean these are the one I use, so it won't have all of these flickering. Kex is to patch, so you only patch the USB. So USB port from one to four. This one is for from Apple graphic device policy. I use that. I don't use this one since I already patched the other one already. So this is number two, and this is number three from PM Heart. This is patch USB port number four and external con uh, icons patch and also the enable trim on SSD. That's it. System parameter. Make sure inject cac is detect and not yes uh, variable. The ROM here is actually whatever you your MAC address that you use uh, on your laptop the hardware now the SM BIOS MacBook Pro 15.2 all right that's it so if you have these install and boot inside I want to use a 16 gig a Catalina boot installer so now let's go to the option and I want to use one gig for this since it's 16 gig so 900 meg has that and right now uh 1070 so let's click ok now we're going to format this one so make sure it's the right one i have no more usb in here so so it's all done so let's look in here this PC so we have Clover right here 900 meg so let's look inside so it has the EFI folder Clover folder now they use driver instead of driver 64 okay so there is Dell latitude 5490 and this one has the i7 the newest one 8650u the number is uh, 59 the id number for the graphic is 5917 and not 16. in order to boot from this one they have the secure boot this one is my boot clover this one is where i have my mojave and this is a hub this one is a mouse since this trackpad is not synaptic so it's not supported by mac this is just an example because i will never get this one to do the hackintosh okay so when we reboot this one on dell we hit the f2 to go into the bios setup go to secure boot And then we're going to go to Secure Boot and Enable. 
what we're gonna do is gonna uncheck this one. And are you sure? Yes. Click apply. Click OK. And then we're gonna go to the boot. We're gonna turn on the enable legacy ROM. Click apply. Click OK. So now we're gonna exit. And then we're gonna hit F12. When you boot up, we're gonna hit F12 to choose the boot menu. We're gonna to go to our USB 2.0 over here, partition one. So, okay, so there's Mojave on i7 8650U and we're using MacBook Pro 15.2. I want to boot from Mac OS Mojave because it doesn't seem to work on the Catalina yet so I haven't checked that one but I'm not going to. So Mojave so if everything is set up correctly it should boot. Okay, so this one is Dell 5490 running Mojave with original stuff in it. So let's look what is working. So the UHD graphics 620 is 1536 megabytes so this one is full acceleration the display on this one is 13.9 is 14 inch and this MacBook Pro 15.2 okay now audio is working because the audio has the audio is ALC 256. That's real tech, so it's working. That's why I'm recording it now. Camera is working. Card reader is not. There's no Ethernet. The Ethernet is not supported. Graphics display. Full acceleration. This one has 16 gig of memory. USB is working. Nope, Wi-Fi, there's no Wi-Fi on this one. It's not the display is really nice. You can dim it, so it's working there. The network, none of them is working. Trackpad, it's non-existent because it's not, uh, it's Dale some kind so if you want to use this one you have to use a mouse and to replace the Bluetooth and it does it does have a Bluetooth but this Bluetooth is not handoff support because it's not supported so the Bluetooth if you check here, handoff supported is no, right? So you have to use the Broadcom one for it to work. So on this one, I wouldn't recommend to buy to do the Hackintosh. Now for people who use HP or any other brand laptop that use 8650U, if you have all the trackpad, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth good that are supported, uh, you can use the same way as I use to boot this one. Envy 13 from HP is the best one for Hackintosh. So let's go to property, this PC, and then we go to device manager.
And here you can look, all the camera of HP is supported. Display adapter on this one, mice, and other. See that is synaptics. So this one will be supported. Network adapter. So the original network adapter was Intel stuff. Now I use Broadcom. So I replace this one with the W1560. This one you can replace. The other model from HP that is mm -hmm. they not replaceable. So make sure that they can be replaced because HP saw them. Some of the model they saw the the Wi-Fi Bluetooth. So you can't change. So don't buy those sound you want to have sound on your mac so make sure it's real tech or idt either one this is alc 295 so it's it's fine for the laptop what you're looking for the intel graphics it will work intel cpu but now i think they have support for the amd but i'm not going to amd stuff Network adapter, you want it to be native, so you have to get the one that you can replace. Trackpad, you don't want to carry a mouse with you or a keyboard with you, so get the one that the trackpad that support it, which is synaptic. Synaptics or Elan, I think, but any other Dell stuff won't work.